is expensive. Tools don't have to be. That's why over 75 million customers have made Harbor Freight America's number one tool store with more than 1,400 locations nationwide and over a million five-star product ratings and reviews. Harbor Freight offers the widest selection of quality tools at values that can't be beat. But don't take our word for it. Come see for yourself at a Harbor Freight store near you. So whatever you do, do it for less at Harbor Freight. Well, good Sunday morning. I guess it is a Sunday, right? Thought I'd give you a little view of the Tacoma as the startup because the Toyota Tacoma is still here, by the way. You can see it. It's sitting here, right? So I need to uh, get rid of the volume on my iPad. You know, you have to have so many things running when you do these live streams, right? I am in deep. Deep. South Texas. It is 74 degrees here. I know some of you folks are in areas that are a lot colder than that. Um, my condolences. What can I say? Anyway, I want to get on here and do a live stream because there's been a little bit of activity going on with regard to the 2024 uh, Toyota Tacoma. And I thought it would be uh, good to give you guys an update. Johnny can't hear me. Well, I would say turn the volume up on your device because I could hear myself, I think, let's see, I'm gonna do a test. And I thought it You would see be, that? Uh, I can hear myself on my own device. So I don't know why you can't hear me, but I hope it improves for you. Uh, anyway, uh, if you're new here and you haven't, please click the subscribe button and don't, hit the, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel out. Um, and uh, you know, the normal YouTube stuff. Let's, uh, let's check out a couple comments here before I get rolling. Auto Man Dan says, good morning, Vietnam. Sorry, I had to do it. Good morning, everyone. Very creative, Dan. Uh, M. Jones, Sunday Tacoma Fun Day. You got it. How are things up in Canada, up north? What's your weather like there today? Uh, Johnny Purdue, he retracted his message. I guess you must be able to hear me now. Um, Mark LaFontaine, LaFontaine. Uh, hi, Rob. Hey, Mark. How you doing, Mark? Or Mike S., rather. Hi, Rob. Hey, Mike. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, Raymond Perez. Hi, Rob. I used to have a 2009 Audi A4. Loved it, but the heads got damaged. The mechanic said that it was because of the four-cylinder turbo. Basically, Audi was, parky, was packing a lot of horsepower into the four-cylinder. Audis are great. I had a couple of four-cylinder Audis, and I have to say, uh, they were awesome. Those cars would just glide. Scott Pritchard, morning Rob, morning Scott, how you doing there buddy? Wiley, uh, what's up Buckeye, go blue, lol. Uh, Anthony, checked uh, Bird Ogden this morning, no Tacomas. They still show two on their website, so maybe they had them inside. Did you go in and check the windows? Uh, they still show two, I don't know. They sold three so far, I believe, I'm not sure. Larry Pierce, uh, send Oregon some warm weather. Yeah, I can imagine, man. Um, let's see, Raymond Perez, would this happen to their new Tacoma? Don't know, we'll find out. Auto Man Dan, well Rob, our weather is a nice 60 degrees. Awesome, and you're still in Utah, right? Uh, Johnny Purdue, I can hear you now, the volume was up. That's very weird, I don't know, maybe it was your internet connection. Are you with AT&T? You know that whole fiasco that was going on? Um, let's see, M. Jones says, a warm 32 degrees Fahrenheit, you poor fella. I, I, I don't know, my condolences. Anthony, the one you test drove saw it, no dampened tailgate. Uh, no, that's not the one I test drove. The one I test drove was a TRD Sport, it was the silver one. Uh, go back and check the video, it's, it's the whole video. Um, that one, 
um, had the dampened tailgate. I remember that. And they sold that one within, it's about a week or so after I think I was there. Something like that. Hopefully I had something to do with it. I don't know. Um, let's see. Mark, 70 degrees here in Orlando and sunny Orlando. Love it. Uh, Audubon Dan, we haven't gotten any 2024 Tacomas in Idaho, not Utah. Idaho, I'm sorry. I meant Idaho. I don't know why I was thinking Utah. Um, let's see. Mumphy is in Utah. Yeah, I know that. I, I did know that. I just, it escaped me for a moment. So what's going on? Um, I posted a video. I think it was, I can't remember now if it was a live stream or if it was, uh, uh, a regular video, I don't know. I go more in, de in detail into it in another video. But I posted a video up. Uh, I was contacted by my dealership uh, that they had access to a couple of Orange, which is the Solar Octane 2024 TRD Sport Tacomas. One's two-wheel drive, one's four-wheel drive. And I got to say, I go back and forth on that, man. Should I get two wheels? Should I get four wheels? Should I get nothing? And it's funny, the comments on the channel. You know, it depends on what, uh, what format uh, I do. When I do live streams like this, I did a little impromptu poll, and I asked you guys, what do you think? Should I get the 2024, trade off the 2023 or not? And it was a resounding yes. Trade it off. Get the new one. So I thought I was golden, right? Then I start seeing comments on the channel against videos, regular videos, not live streams, and it's a pretty much a resounding no. So I don't know if the people that watch the videos are different from the folks that watch the live streams or what. It's just really kind of weird to me. So who knows? But anyway, so I get contacted. Let's see, I'd say two-wheel drive for you other than South Padre Island. You don't really need a four-wheel drive. You're right. Why would I pay for it? I'm really starting to think that myself. Maybe I don't need a four-wheel drive. You know, I, I'll be honest. I was looking at getting a four-wheel drive for you guys. Um, maybe I felt a little peer pressure there. I don't know. You know. We feel that too, right? But the more I think about it, I'm thinking that's probably not necessary. I don't really need a four-wheel drive. To do what? To say I have it? to flex my man muscles, used to be more there, it's, it's not as big, but used to, you know, uh, used to need a four wheel drive when I lived up north, I don't live up north anymore, I live where we don't get snow, I mean it's, where are we, February and it's 74 degrees and sunny out there right now, what the hell am I going to do with a four by four, other than SPI, which is South Padre Island by the way, if you guys didn't know. Um, Dean Hunt says, good morning, Rob. Good morning, Dean. How you doing there, brother? Thanks for joining. By the way, if you're just getting on, we have 73 bodies on here and only 10 thumbs ups. Click the thumbs up button if you wouldn't mind. It helps out the video. Kind of shows YouTube that somebody likes it. I, I don't know. And don't forget to subscribe. So anyway, got contacted by the dealer. Two Solar Octane 2024 Tacomas available. And I'm like, oh, geez, this is, you know, I really really wasn't looking to do anything until probably the end of the year. The end of the year, the end of the summer, maybe fall, something like that. I mean, that's the plan. I'm in no, I'm in no hurry. I don't have to do anything. I mean, I have the third generation, which I guess is now the unicorn because you can't buy them pretty much anymore. I mean, they're still out there in places, but not in big numbers, right? So, contacts me, tells me he's got two 2024 Tacomas. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, both are sports. I do like the sport. Love the way the sport drove. The suspension and all that good stuff was awesome. So he's going to send me the specs so that I can see what both of these trucks have on them. One of them was more expensive, the four-wheel drive version, obviously, but it also had a package on it. I don't know what package is on the two-wheel drive. That was on, I think that was on Friday. That was on Friday, 1030 in the morning. So Friday goes by. I didn't hear anything. Saturday goes by. I didn't hear anything. It's now Sunday and the dealership is closed. So I'm, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the dealership that has these said, wait a minute, brother, we're not going to give these away or trade them out. They're not giving them away, but we're not interested in trading them. Or maybe they sold them. I don't know. I actually checked uh, a couple of dealers this morning, um, both of which I believe have one each of these trucks. 
because everything looks right, right? And they're still available according to the dealer website, but we know that's only as accurate as when the dealers update their websites. So are they really out there? I'm not really sure. Now, it may just be that they just didn't get the specs. Sometimes I know dealerships don't really communicate well with each other, right? I've been down this road before where you try to get something through your dealership that's at another dealership and everybody has to talk and all that and agree and sometimes they drag their feet or you get people that are just not motivated. And I'll never understand that. For me, if I'm a sales guy and I got a guy who may be willing to buy, I am going to move, I am going to act for a couple reasons. One, that might, guy might change his mind or he might go somewhere else. Or maybe he discovers a, a better deal. I mean, who knows? There's all kinds of things in sales, right? You know, they're, they're, you, you got to move. So anyway, that's where it's at right now. Tomorrow, of course, is Monday. Monday is going to be interesting. Will I hear anything? Won't I hear anything? Will I get specs? Won't I get specs? This is just the, uh, the way it goes when you're trying to find something, right? Now, let's check out a couple comments. I see some more comments are coming in. I want to stay up on the comments here. Um, let's see. Mark said I bought a 2023 Limited in October, Nightshade Edition. Awesome package, by the way. Um, but debating getting a 2024. Well, you're in the same boat that I am. You know, do you go ahead and dump the 2023 back here and pick up a 2024, or do you stay with what you have? And that's really the kicker, isn't it? There is no good reason to dump. I mean, look at this truck, man. Look at it. It's awesome. Look at it. I know some people don't like electric lime green. I happen to like it. That's why I bought it. But there's no real reason why you need to go out and dump the Toyota Tacoma that you have, even if it's an, an older one. I mean, if you've got less than, I don't know, 250,000 miles, you've probably got a lot of life left in that truck yet. What are you really going to get? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's move on here. Um, Automan Dan, I've been actually thinking about a 2024 Colorado, but since I'm going back to school later this year, uh, so I've actually been thinking of an electric vehicle. Get a hybrid. If you must go electric, get a hybrid. Um, tech for fun, four by four may have better resale. You know, people say that and it aggravates me. Why? because you pay more for it when you buy it to begin with. People always say, oh, you can get more money out of the four by four. Well, hell yeah, you can. You paid more money for it when you bought it. I mean, obviously it's gonna be priced higher when you sell it and they're gonna give you more money when you trade it in because it's worth more, because it had more. It's like apples to apples, you know? Now, if you said I can buy a sport that's purple but I'll get more out of it if it's gray. Well, that makes sense. They're both sports and the only difference is the color, right? But you're talking about two completely different trucks, four wheel drive versus two wheel drive. It's crazy to me when people say that. I don't know, nothing against you. I mean, I, I get it. Uh, Mike S, uh, you'll get rear disc brakes, Rob. Who cares? I, that's another thing that drives me nuts. People bitching about brakes. I step on the brake pedal and the truck stops. That's what's important to me disc brakes, drum brakes, a squirrel on a cage. I don't care. It stops. I don't know what the big deal is about that. Why is that a thing? I've never understood that. For me, what's most important is when I step on the brake, the damn thing stops. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Anthony A, I use my 21 Tundra 4x4 every weekend or when I go to my hunting ranch. Well, then you have a valid reason to have a 4x4. I get it. I understand. Sure. Um... M. Jones, you probably don't need three four-wheel drive vehicles. Two-wheel for the Tacoma makes sense. That's another good point. I have right over here a 4x4 Jeep Wrangler, right? That's a 4x4 Jeep Wrangler. Outside is a 4x4 Jeep Wrangler. So I already have two other ones. Why do I need a third? If I really am, am jonesing for a four-wheel drive for some reason, I already have one. You know, I mean, it's crazy. Other than peer pressure, you guys. Uh, let's move on. By the way, 155 people, only 20 likes. Come on, show me some love, man. You gotta, you gotta hit that button right there. Just once, one time. That's all I want. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, 
Automated Dan says a two-wheel drive makes uh, sense, especially if you live in South Texas. Plus, Rob, you already have a 4x4. Right. That's what right. Tech for fun. I just bought one of the last 23s. Uh, partly was mods. Third gen has ultimate, unlimited rather, mods. Fourth gen will take a while. I'm not so sure about that. I, I thought the same thing, actually, um, when I first started considering a 2023, and that's when they first announced it. But, man, the aftermarket people have been hot on this truck. They've been scanning it and, and planning for it. So I think there's going to be a lot of mods out there for it probably early on. Plus, you know, how many things are different? There are going to be some similarities to the 2023 with the 2024 when it comes to dimensions and things. I mean, they didn't completely burn the thing down and redo everything. There's going to be some similarities, I think. I think. Um, Johnny Purdue, love my 4x4 long bed. I use it all the time. Awesome. Uh, Sinbloom. Sinbloom? Chin Bloom? I don't know. I have a 2018 Access Cab, uh, Tacoma All Gray. Love it. Awesome. I really do like the, the Access Cabs. By the way, you can't, well, you can still kind of get one, except the doors won't open in the back. What a pain in the arse that's going to be to reach around and stick stuff behind those seats. I don't know. Tech for fun. Some of the technology is cool in the 2024, but I'm concerned of first model year. It's a valid concern. There's going to be problems with the 2024, I'm sure. Gary H. Good morning, Rob. I think you should get a 4x4 Sport. I think it's the best looking of all the trim levels. But why a 4x4? What other than paying more money, having more weight, and more maintenance is a 4x4 going to do for somebody who never uses a 4x4? I'm asking that honestly. Why? Why? Why do you say that? Uh, let's see. Blobberator. <laughs> Blobberator. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Uh, tech for fun. I don't know if the 4x4 is a one is a one to one for resale based on purchase price. It's purely more desirable long term. Depends on your needs. I mean, desirable to who? I don't need a 4x4. It's not so desirable to me. And there's a lot of people that live in South Texas. I don't know. But there's a lot of people that want 4x4s too. I get it. Um, Max a billion bucks. Your responses are golden. You never, you'll never get audience captured. Ha ha. Keep up the good work. That's right. I'm never going to get audience captured. Are you talking about responses on the channel? I have a hard time. I have to throttle myself, uh, a lot of times in the responses. I mean, I can't, I can't necessarily respond how I actually am uh, because it wouldn't be very nice in some cases. And the big thing about that is when I get those crappy comments on the channel or here or wherever, you know, I don't know who I'm talking to. Am I talking to a 10-year-old kid? I mean, I know this is an 18 and over channel. If you're under 18, you're not supposed to be here, but come on, we know. So anyway, I'm not going to sit here and have a battle with an eight-year-old eight kid, you know? And, and by the, the looks of some of the comments, it probably are eight-year-old kids. I mean, some of the things I see, it's like, would an adult really say that? I, God, I would hope not. But then again, we don't know, right? Uh, Automate Dan says, look, I'm going to be honest. I really think Rob should hold off on the 2024 Tacoma. Why? Why? I mean, it's what I do, right? Anthony A, what was more enjoyable, your black Tundra or the black Ram? Boy, that's a tough one. Um, man, I don't know. Pro probably, probably the Ram because it had the eight-cylinder and I had that sound. You know, I love that exhaust note. I hate to say it. I like the Tundra more, but... I don't know, man. The Ram was fun. All up to date, all modern, more junk to break. I don't know. I, I did like it, though, man. Uh, CR7 Sweet, 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 sweet 44. Uh, nice truck. Well, thank you. The electric lime green. Um, Mark LaFontaine. Rob, wait at least until summer when the Max comes out. Uh, I don't, well, I'm going to get, the hybrid is the ultimate goal. So, my thinking here in getting a 2024 is it's a an in-between. I have the 2020, I should say, not just the 20, they're both 2024. I should say the four-cylinder uh, turbo, the non-hybrid, <clears throat> uh, to try out, to see how it feels, and then move up to the hybrid once it comes out, right? I don't know. We'll see. Um, 
Let's see. Boy, his comments are rolling. Where am I? Juan24. Good morning, Juan. Juan. Good morning, Juan. How are you? Uh, Lady Perry, wait and get a 2025. Why? What makes a difference? Uh, Bob Dillian. Dillian? Hi, Rob. Hi, Bob. How you doing there, buddy? Uh, tech for fun. 4x4 will help you drive over zombies in the apocalypse. LOL. <laughs> That's true, assuming I'm not one of the zombies. And maybe if I am one of the zombies, I don't want you guys running over me. So you should all buy 4 by 2s You know what I'm saying? Um, Mike S., would you ever get an extra cab? The pre-runner looks so good. I love the looks of them, but no, I wouldn't. I've had them before, and they're just... They're not as useful as a double cab. I mean, if you need to throw anybody in there with you, trying to fit an adult in that little area, I've ridden in the back of the old, the third gen access cab, the seats suck, those little sideways airplane or suicide seats, whatever you call them, they suck. They sit straight up and down. They're like a, basically a piece of wood that you're sitting on. No, I, although I do love the looks of them better, more. Um, Wiley, get the 2024 Tacoma Pre-Runner. That's the best way to go. Nah, eh, not for me. Uh, Mo Brerin, buy one. Well, thank you. Uh, Cash App link down below. Feel free to contribute as much as you'd like for the cause. Um, Paul Harris, get it, Rob, and be happy. Well, I'm happy with what I have, but I would be a little happier with a brand new shiny toy, you know? Uh, Blue STI, when are they saying they'll have the truck you want at the dealership? I've not gotten that far. I, I honestly don't know. Man, it keeps feeling like I have something in my eye, an eyelash. We humans are designed poorly, right? Speaking of poor design, why in the hell do we have eyelashes that can fall in your eyes? And why do we have teeth that can get cavities? I mean, and why do we grow fingernails we don't need that break off and could cause you a hell of a lot of pain? It'd be different if there was no feeling. You just pop one off. I know, it's gross. But anyway, speaking of things with poor design, right? Um, let's see. Uh, Automan Dan says, Rob, first year issues with new models. Um, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys in on a little secret or about first year issues, right? I am a YouTuber, right? People love misery and bad things, right? So the best thing for me would be to get a brand new 2024 Toyota Tacoma and have all kinds of things go wrong with it. Things that I can make videos about, content for the channel. Because I will tell you in my many years of YouTubing, um, you post up a nice fluffy video that's positive and has flowers and butterflies and nobody watches it. You post up a video, massive recall, Toyota Tacoma fires, and everybody wants to see it, right? So there's a big difference, you know, uh, between what you get with the positives and the negatives. So a piece of me says, yeah, I hope it does have all kinds of problems because from a selfish standpoint, a creator standpoint, people love it. People love pain and misery. It's just the way we are. Look at the evening news when you turn it on. What's the first story? Something horrendous that's happened, you know? Um, all right, where was I? I, 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 I digress. Um, let's see. Uh, tech for fun. Is this your full-time gig now? I guess that is a good reason to get the 2024. I have been doing YouTube full-time for five and almost a half years. So it has been my full-time gig uh, for a while. I have three channels. Rob Motive, the one you're on right now. I hope you know where you're at. Uh, Rob Motive 2, and that's T-0-0, zero, zero, like for Rob Motive also, all one word, and uh, Rob Motive J-L. Um, it takes a lot of time to do this. I couldn't run three channels posting every day on this channel, doing live streams like this, unless I did it on a weekend or at night, uh, and run two other channels if I didn't do it full time. So yeah, this is my full time gig. Cole says, get a job. That's one of those ignorant comments. Like, this isn't a job. Really? I mean, are you spending time editing and uploading videos, shooting videos? Do you think that actors don't have a job when they make movies and get paid money for it? I mean, it's the same kind of gig. They get paid a lot more money than I do, but it's really the same kind of thing. It's entertainment. Um, and what do you do, Cole? What, what is your fantastic line of work that's so productive you can bestow upon me what you think I ought to or ought not to be doing. I'd love to know. 
Uh, Ron Hare, but that one time you might need four-wheel drive, you'd be glad you got it. You know, people say that. That's the biggest uh, argument against not getting a four-wheel drive is, well, it's always good to have it and not need it, but need it and not have it. I have been around for many decades, many, and I have never needed a four-wheel drive, never. And I would say that if you put yourself in a situation where you need a four-wheel drive, in other words, not just for fun, then you're doing something wrong and you probably have a bigger problem. Um, that's my thinking on that argument. Jesus Navarrete, let the bugs come out first. Um, again, I explained that for someone who does what I do, bugs is probably a good thing. Automat Dan says, Cole, he has a job. Thanks, Dan. Good to see someone who is further evolved. Um, let's see, Umfu, you have the voice of a man who should be on radio. I've been hearing that a lot lately. You know, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't see that myself, but of course you hear yourself through different ears than everybody else does, right? So if there's any radio stations out there want to give me a gig and let me, you know, advertise my channel, uh, channels, um, you know, call me, email me. The email's down below. Uh, Tech for Fun says, I'm one of the zombies. Ha 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 ha. Uh, well, you must be one of the more intelligent ones because you're communicating. I like that. Uh, Anthony says, I've seen your channel for a good while. Never understood why you got a Santa Cruz. Trucks make a better video, uh, my opinion. Well, you're in luck. I have always had trucks on this channel. So, I don't know. That's like going to a restaurant, ordering food you don't like, and then saying, I don't like that. Well, then why the hell did you order it? I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Um... <laughs> Uh, MKM, hi. Howdy. Uh, Hemothy Prod, uh, can you shout me out? It's my birthday. Well, happy birthday. You just got it. There you go, brother, or brother Rhett. Uh, tech for fun. Humans were designed by General Motors. LOL, lots of issues. Isn't that the truth? I mean, my God, man. Uh, Ethan Workman, thoughts on bringing uh, the Helix, or Hilux, however you want to pronounce it, champ to America. It's never going to happen. Not with the Tacoma here. It's not going to happen. Um, let's see. Automan Dan says, okay, I'm back. I've been having issues with the internet. That's a bummer. Get rid of AT&T, man. Um, Kaj Kid, don't get the Tacoma. Why not? You need to be more specific. Let me know. Daniel Gordon, Rob, I live in Wisconsin. 4x4 is nice for winners. Just get the two-wheel drive in South Texas. Texas. Right. I mean, you live in an area that warrants that, right? I understand. If you live in Michigan, Wisconsin, even Ohio, you know? I used to live in Ohio. I had 4x4s, honestly never needed them, but it made getting out of things a little bit easier. Gave you peace of mind, you know? Uh, let's see. Kosh Kid says, not the 2024. Please get an older one, V8, V6. There is no V8 Tacoma that I'm aware of unless you put one in it yourself. Uh, Mike Hurst, just saying, Rob, you shouldn't uh, mock our creator and you should get the pre-runner. You are too sensitive. It's not that broad of a statement, really. It's more of a, uh, a thinking man's kind of a statement. It's not a knocking a creator or anyone else. Too deep, too deep for this channel. You need to go to a different kind of channel. Um, let's see. Uh, Kosh Kid says, no four-cylinder turbo. Why? Why not? Um, Walter White, Jazzy Bunny. I'm sad my sister died from right... Uh, there we go. See, there's another one of those. I, I find it hard to believe that anybody is going to get on here and uh, post something like that if it were true. We're not, we're not here for that, man. Go talk to the mirror or something. I don't know. Paul Harris says, same here, Automan Dan. Uh, internet having issues. Rob, get one now. <laughs> They're closed on Sundays, man. I mean, you know... Um, Automan Dan says, well, Rob, you have a valid point. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate that. Paul Harris says, and get the other when it comes out and be really happier. <laughs> there you go. Different degrees of happiness. Uh, Eddie Haskell says, my nephew is a Toyota tech. He is not impressed by the Ford Turbo. Why? You see, blanket statements like that, you have to, you have to explain them. Why is he not happy? Because he doesn't have to work on them very often and he's afraid that job security is going away. I mean, could it be that? I don't know what his angle is. Um, Maximilian Bucks. Yeah, it's cons constant work. You're pushing videos daily. 
It is constant work. I mean, you've got to answer comments, you've got to upload, shoot, edit, get rid of comments that, you know, people like a couple you've seen on here already leave. You got to take care of that stuff. I mean, it's constant work if you care. If you don't care, you let anything run out there and who cares what people post, you right? Um, also, I got something to say about that too in a minute. Uh, Nordland AK, yes, you need a 2224, it's business. On the other hand, don't pay over MSRP. Yes, four by four because it's not a truck without it. We disagree on that. Um, Ryan DeBoer, I always buy four shoes. Uh, I only buy two because that's all I can wear, you know? Uh, Natty, hello, hello. Uh, Nicole, or Nicole rather, Charlotte, him. Uh, Nicole says, hi. I am assuming that's autocorrect, one of the scourges of society. Walter White Jazzy somebody, El Paso guy. Oh, kind of a neighbor. Blue STI says, do you like the Tacoma better than the Tundra? Yes, always have. Um, Nicole says, can I have a shout out? Well, you just got it. There you go. Uh, Natty says, Espanol. I do not speak Spanish. I am sorry. Mike says, get the 4x4 for the channel. But why? Uh, Michael the Welder. What's the biggest tire you can use on a third gen that's stock? Um, on a third gen that's stock. Check out my video. Just search Rob Motive Tire. A whole chart with different scenarios will come up and you will know. Um... Let's see. Tech for fun. You're right. I'm in New England and use a 4x4, but looking at your weather right now, why am I here? Why are you there? Why is anybody there? Why did I live in that kind of a climate for, I don't even know, 50 years, 50, 50 some years? Oh, God. Um, Tree Rogi, Woody Allen. The food was terrible, but I'll keep coming here because they give you a lot of food. It's true. Uh, Nate Fool. And then, uh, I don't know, some sort of word I don't know, discussion. Uh, Joe Sue Swartz, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Saber somebody gave, a, I guess, a cowboy looking kind of thing, I don't know. All of my dances, okay, I'm back. I've been having some issues with my phone and internet connection, so I had to restart my phone. Welcome back, Dan. Mo, uh, I'm getting 2024 hybrid, selling my 4x2 Tacoma and keeping my 08 FJ Cruiser. You've got a classic there. A lot of people love those cruisers. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them, but I understand. Mark, uh, if we all gave Rob 10, to, uh, 10 bucks, he'd have a good down payment. Um, yeah, and I wouldn't discourage that in any way. So you feel free to do what you're comfortable with doing. Um, Walter White, uh, is it some genetic thing with your brain? It could be. It certainly could be. Uh, Aaron Karjabajabo, nice. Automan Dan, well, I've actually been thinking of both. I like hybrid vehicles, but the electric vehicles have advantages as well. Um, not when you can't charge them, not when you're waiting in line, not when it's too cold outside. No, there's no advantage. Eric says, Automan Dan, you're right. Uh, Tree Rogi, what's the best EV out there? The Toyota, well, it depends on what you need. I think the Toyota Prius. Um, because it's an awesome car, but it's a little small. If you need an SUV, um, you probably need something a little bigger. I don't know. Uh, Dean Hunt says, I'm holding out for the Trail Hunter. Yeah, it's an awesome package or an awesome, it's awesome. The color, the package, everything about it, but it's going to cost you probably 60 to 70 grand is my guess. Are you going to pay that for a Tacoma no matter what badge they put on it? I don't know. Automated answers. I'm actually thinking of an older truck as a backup. Um, DTX says, that a taco back there? That is. This is a 2020 TRD off-road. Um, I think it's probably reversing. Is it reversing my name on here? Probably. But it's got the custom Rob Motive grill that lights up. Uh, it's electric lime green, and it is awesome. It is a 4x4. Never used it other than make videos about it. Um, about fell down there. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Autobahn dances. I'm actually thinking of an older truck as a backup. Uh, you don't need two, Dan. What do you need two trucks for? Just get one. You got to pay double the insurance. I mean, come on. Or two vehicles, I mean. Uh, Tech for Fun says, are you planning on keeping the green machine or trading it in if you get the 2024? It will be gone. It will be traded. I thought for a while about, 
you know, kind of having both to go back and forth with. But honestly, it's simply not necessary. And I don't have the room. I mean, there's not a lot of space here anyway, so it'll be gone. Mike Wilson says, get the off-road in Blue Crush. Looks awesome. I do like Blue Crush. That's one of the colors I, I would be happy with. Um, let's see. DTX Medius is very nice. Your name is facing the right way on cam. 4x4. Four four. Okay. I always wonder. You see a lot of people who... Uh, do these live streams and they, they change, they flip the image. So when it's always funny because they'll hold something up for you to read and it's backwards and I'm like, aren't you watching what you're doing? Nobody can read that. You've got it backwards because for some reason, I guess they have a better side, you know? I, I don't know. This isn't a model or dating channel, so you get what you get. There's no filter on here. What you're seeing is the real me, so... Um, let's see, Juliana Lopez, hi, Juliana, how are you? DTX Media, got 250,000 on my diesel truck and works every day. I don't think EV will ever compete in my opinion. Uh, probably not, but you know that's the way we're going. Although I did see, I think it's Honda and Chevy maybe, I think it's Chevy, are, are working together on a hydrogen vehicle. You know, it's like VHS and beta tapes. You know, beta was so great, and then VHS came out, and beta was gone. I'm dating myself. Do you even know what those are? Um, is it going to be the same way with EVs and, and electric vehicles? They came out, but now we're going to go to something else like hydrogen, and they'll be gone? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Audubon Dan says, I've actually thought of a square body Chevy. Buy it if you can find a good one. Um, Ashley, your FYP. Oh my gosh. Remember me? If you do, then I am I am that girl with the rar name. I'm sorry, I don't. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Juliana Lopez, I was watching uh, you on Wednesday Oh, she retracted. Juliana, where did you go? Anyway, she was watching me on Wednesday. I don't know why she left that, that comment. Um, let's see. Automan Dan says, yes, Chevy and Honda are doing uh, are collaborating. Yeah, I thought that's who it was. Uh, and then Dan retracted too. Why are you guys retracting? I don't understand. Juliana says, hi, I watched you on Wednesday. I remember you. Uh, Dennis Shotwell, so is the Rob Motive grill going to be a wall ornament? Um, the answer is most likely. Unless a dealership tells me that this truck and that grill being on it is worth more money than without. Because otherwise, I mean, it lights up. It's pretty cool. Um, I can't let it go. Why would I? I mean, I think it cost me like upwards of... I think it was like 400 bucks or something. I don't, three, $400, something like that. So no, it is not going to go with the truck unless I get more for it. I mean, why would I let it go? Same with a lot of the mods and things on the truck. Ah, a little bit of sweet tea on a Sunday morning. Um, I'm going to take off a lot of the mods and things on here. You know, in the past, I've let things go. And, you know, you really don't get any more. Uh, dealerships don't care. Matter of fact, it might even devalue the truck a little bit, depending on what the mod is that you've put on. Uh, so it's probably a better idea to take a naked truck in there than one that has, not you, the truck, than one that has a bunch of stuff on it because it's worth more money to the masses because it will appeal to more people. I mean, it's difficult for me to believe that not everybody out there would want a Tacoma with Rob Motive on the front of it, but I know there are people that probably wouldn't. So it makes it less valuable to the dealership, I think. I think. I don't know. All right, let's check some more comments. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joe Sue Schwartz. I like your videos. You're really enjoyable. Keep up the great work and keep on doing what you do. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I hope you've given me a thumbs up on this live stream along with everybody else. And click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I mean, if you're here and you're watching this live stream and you've been on for a while, you must like it. So do me a favor, show me a little love and click the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Um, <laughs> let's see, Ashley says, I forgot because I changed it. So 
Oh, well, if you change the name, yeah, I'd have no idea. A blue STI says, when you trade it, do you leave the mods on or put it back to stock? I've done both. Um, the last truck I traded, I left a lot of the mods on it. That was dumb on my part. Um, so I'm not going to do that this time unless, like I said, the truck is worth more money. Um, then I would consider it. BG says, I want to see the truck. Um, what truck are you talking about? Um, Troy McMahon, uh, Toyota already has a hydrogen engine that works. Well, then where is it and why can't we drive it? Um, Juliana says, I love this live. Well, Juliana, I thank you very much for that. Those are kind words. I appreciate it. Uh, Dolph the North. Rob, what was your first Tacoma you owned? How was it? It was the second gen. I think it was... Man, I don't even remember what year it was, but I think it was a second gen. It had the four liter engine in it, uh, and it was fun. It was great. It was, I, th I think it was a pre-runner, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Automan Dan says, dealers love to lowball people. That's why I call them dealerships. Yeah, but you can't be lowballed unless you let it happen. Always remember, you are the one in control. You are the one with the money. You can leave. I don't know why people complain. I've been lowballed. Well, then why'd you let it happen? You're not a prisoner. Um, Paul Frank says, hi. How you doing, Paul? Uh, BG says, the truck behind you. Well, there you go. It is a TRD off-road. Uh, it is electric lime green. It does have the high line front bumper on it. The... Uh, oh, heck, I can't remember the manufacturer of it. If I do, I'll mention it. But that's the truck. Got some lights on the back. Got a sport bar up there. It's just awesome. Uh, Mickey says, uh, buy the orange Tacoma and mod it. A natural for your channel. I agree with that. I agree with that. <clears throat> um, Tech for Fun says, question. Do you think the metal bumpers would actually hurt the crumple factor and be more dangerous in a bad collision? Watched a vid on, uh, watched a, vid on a study on <clears throat> this. And now hesitate putting one on thoughts. Absolutely not. If anything, I would think it would strengthen it. The metal bumper on the front of the truck bolts onto the two frame points uh, that the other crash bar, which was aluminum, very light aluminum, was mounted to. How in the world can an aluminum bar be more dangerous than a steel um, bumper? I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know why that anyone would say that. Uh, 57 Joe Rod. Rob, are you planning to get a 2024? Absolutely. Eventually. I'm not exactly sure of the timing. Uh, acceleration rules. I refuse to pay 50 grand for a sewing machine engine. The 2024 Tacoma will be a huge fail. Uh, I think you're wrong. I think they're going to sell like hotcakes. Uh, BG says, so thumbs up. Thank you very much. 167 people on here now and 50 thumbs ups. We need to bridge that gap a little more, bring it a little bit closer, you know? Uh, BG says I'm subscribing. BG, thank you. See, BG's got it, he's got it right. Subscribing, I appreciate that. Juliana Lopez says, how many cars do you have? I have one, two, three, I have four. Um, let's see, how many cars do you have? Uh, your bumper is Body Armor. Yes, Body Armor, that's the name I was trying to think of. Excellent product. I've had two of them. They both were perfect, no flaws, and really very easy. How many people are on here? 176. Um, very easy to put on. Well, it, unless you're averse to cutting your Tacoma, then you might have a problem. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mike Hurst, you can't drive the hydrogen vehicle Toyota Velop because you can't get hydrogen anywhere. Well, see, that's a problem. Uh, the weekend, uh, cook some barbecue. That'd be tasty. Uh, Automan Dan says, wow, I see a lot of negative comments. There's a lot of negative comments, I think you mean against the 2024. I haven't really seen that many against me, uh, which is always a good thing. Uh, let's see. Um, boy, the comments are just flowing on here. David P says, hi, Rob. Your truck is great. I have one just like it, minus some of the mods. David, you have excellent taste. Excellent taste, my friend. Uh, Automan Dan says, Mike Hurst, I disagree. William Courtney, thumbs up. BG says, you're welcome. Magnus Botvidson, I am subscribing. Thank you, Magnus. I appreciate that. You are awesome. That's the thing. Anybody who subscribes today, you're awesome. I'm just saying. 
Uh, <laughs> BG says, I'm telling my friends to subscribe to you. Now that I would appreciate. You see, that's what we YouTubers really like because it's word of mouth um, that, that builds the channel or anything really that's out there. So that'd be great. I appreciate that. BG says, oh, I read that. Juliana Lopez says, I love this live so much. I will watch you every time you have a live. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, Tech for Fun says, the argument was that the metal bumper was too good at not crumpling, therefore not absorbing the blow. I disagree still. I mean, yeah, it's not going to crumple as easily probably as that aluminum bar that goes across there, but, you know... That's, I, I don't, I don't know. BG says, I love you. Well, I love you too. Thank you very much. Um, Aije, Aije, what do you do for a living? You're watching it. This is what I do. I am a professional. I love when people ask this. I am a professional content creator for Google. I'm a YouTuber. Um, the Weekend says, play If I Didn't Care by Ink Spots. I uh, never heard of it, can't play music, particularly copyrighted music. That's a copyright problem with YouTube. Um, let's see. Where am I? I've lost my spot. Uh, BG says, not sure way. Uh, JMC says, what car is that behind you? This is a 2023 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road 4x4. That's what it is. Um... Let's see, uh, Joe Rod, he's uh, throwing up some, I guess, purple peace signs. I don't think I've seen that before. Roca Guy says, nice car, I love it. Juliana Lopez, I love how you read all the comments. Well, again, I've said this before, if you guys are willing to take your time, to, first to be on here, and secondly, to leave a comment, I'm going to read it. Unless it's something that's not appropriate, then I'll delete it, you know. Um, BG says, you're welcome. A symbol says, hello, Rob. I apply for a school and worried about, got, what should I do while waiting for the result? Cheers, mate. Love you. Um, be patient. What else can you do? I don't know. Watch, watch some TV. I don't know. Uh, Scott says, you're planning on getting the 360 degree camera on the new Tacoma. Uh, you plan. No, I, I really don't. Although I might put a, I would, I will put a dash cam of some sort in it with uh, rear view as well. Um, oops, I've lost my spot. Uh, Joe Rod says, LOL, what do you think about the new Tesla truck? Hate it, gross, ugly, disgusting. Ugh. Uh, Gigi Yvette, I make cars. Awesome, so you work at like a car factory or something? Uh, Perfect Pitch Todd, can you suggest a bed cover? Um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Just search Rob Motive Tano or Rob Motive uh, cover, and you'll see what I've had and what I thought of them. Um, Automan Dan says, you know, Rob, I've been sub to you for eight years now. Wow, time has flown by fast. Have I had a presence for eight years? I mean, I've been doing it seriously for about five and a half. Did I actually have a presence eight years ago? Wow, I'd be impressed if I did. <laughs> um and thank you, Dan. I know you have been, you are one of my oldest uh, subscribers to the channel, and I really do appreciate you, buddy. Uh, Nordland AK, what markups are you facing in Texas? How many dealerships? Uh, I will not pay a markup. So what markups am I facing? I am not facing any markups. I will not buy if there is a markup. Um, let's see. Uh, there are several dealerships. I can think of at least four uh, near me. Um, Blue STI says, what did you do as a career, Rob, before you were doing social media? I was a purchasing manager for 23 years. Uh, Jose Alvarez, what lift are you using? I do not have a lift. My truck is stock. Uh, Jay, what up? What up, Jay? How you doing? Uh, Nick says, the color is sick. Yeah, people either love it or they hate it. Uh, it it's like a chameleon. It changes differently in, uh, in different lighting. And that's what drew me to it when I saw it sitting at the dealership. You see, I went in to just see what they had and there was the electric lime Toyota Tacoma glistening in the sunlight. Sexy, called me. I could resist. I had to have it and I do. It's right there. Although now it's dirty. Um, it's such a dirty, dirty thing. 
Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, where was I? Uh, IEJ, Dream Truck Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. A lot of people love those. Um, where was I? Uh, the Weekend. Do you own a 1968 Mustang Mach 1? I do not. Uh, Jimbo returns. I am with you, Rob. If you do need, don't need four by four, uh, you don't need to pay for it. Exactly. Why would I pay for something I don't need? It's so stupid. Um, Swantara Dahia. Sorry, I tried. Hello, hello. Tech for fun. Thoughts on ditch lights? I noticed uh, you have not done them on the green machine. You know, I, it's crossed my mind, but honestly, I've got enough light in the front. I mean, I have the headlights. I have an LED light bar down there. I've got the fog lights. I don't really need any more light. I mean, I know they serve a different purpose, but I don't like the way they look on some trucks. And I, I'm not sure I really dig the way that they affix to the truck either. I'd be more afraid of damaging something. You know what I mean? Uh, Bean says, have you seen any Volkswagen Beetles lately? No, we don't, I don't see a lot of them. I live in South Texas. You want to see, you see trucks. That's what you see down here, mostly. Um, we got a message held for review. I don't even know what that person's trying to do, so we're going to just leave it, leave it held. Uh, Juliana, Juliana Lopez, what is your favorite car? My favorite car would be an early, early... Not too early. Uh, Chevy Chevelle. Love the Chevy Chevelle. Uh, I like Porsches. I like the usual fast car stuff, you know. Uh, Jay says, what up? What up, Jay? How you doing? Juliana says, question, question, question. Uh, dev, ya dev, dev, ya dev. Sat, sun, the something. The weekend. Do you own a night? I still don't. Uh, Swan... Swatantra? Swatantra. That's what I'm going with. Uh, let's see. It says, hello, I like your tattoos. Thank you very much. I, I kind of dig them too, you know. Uh, Automated Dan says, aw, thanks, Rob, with tears. You're welcome, Dan. I love you, brother. Uh, Chad Kernatz. Good afternoon, Rob. Chad Kernatz is a channel member. You may notice he's in green. I just want to give a shout out to Chad again. Thank him for that. If you want to check out what that means just look at the join click the join thing underneath my channel name it won't do anything except go somewhere where you can see stuff um, and I appreciate that once again Chad um, let's see where was I Walter I, I also saw an electric line TRD Pro yesterday it looks really cool it is a great color for the truck and that's when it first started was with the Pro I believe Automate Dan says hey Chad Dave Kelly says great color Nick says ha dope that it's dirty. No pave, pavement princess. Ha ha. Uh, it is a pavement princess. It's just a dirty, nasty one, you know. One of those that are out at 3 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, a symbol says, hi, handsome. Well, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Chad Cronaut says, hey, Dan. Dennis Shotwell, how many Tacomas of your own have you modded? All but maybe two. Maybe two. Not even that. All but maybe to only one, actually. I, I used to do things before I got into to it more heavily and the channels and all that. Um, so, you know. Automate Dan says, buy the truck for what you need is my motto. Absolutely. Used says, don't BS me, Rob. What we got going on here, buddy? I just joined. We are doing a live stream and talking about whatever you guys want to talk about now. Um... Uh, let's see, uh, Lizik. Hey there, Rob. I think I was in the same boat last month. I was looking for a third gen taco and was torn between a two by four or four by four, but I decided to get a two by four because it has more towing capacity. There is the first legitimate reason to get a two by two over a four by four. You can tow more. Um, makes more sense. Juliana, lots of hearts. Thank you. Uh, Tech for Fun says, yeah, Kelly Raised has some brackets for ditch lights, but they kind of stick out like black ears. Yeah, I've never seen a really good application, and nor do I think there really can be. I mean, it's a pod sitting on your, your hood. I, I, I don't know. It's just, I, this doesn't look good to me. Lazach says, plus the truck was premium loaded. 
Uh, Epicino, do you like the second gin Tacomas? I like every gin Tacoma. Uh, beans, must be nice living in a warm place like Texas. It is, I like it. Uh, Dennis says, uh, you to make a, excuse me, calendar. Yeah, yeah, I should make a calendar. Uh, I could with all the Tacomas I've had. Uh, Walter says, I'm eating a honey bun right now. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going to have to grab some lunch here. It's 11.44 my time. Automate Dan says, you know, Rob, I need to compare all the new midsize. So I guess I will be testing some new ones soon. That's a good idea. Juliana Lopez, how long have you been on YouTube? Seriously, for about five and a half years. I had a presence before that, but it was dumb stuff. You know, I, I think I filmed a fish tank for a while. It was dumb stuff, but seriously at it for uh, about five and a half years. Javier Ramos. Hi, Rob. My dream Tacoma is the one I have. 21 Sport, 34,000 miles paid for. Best truck you could ever own is the one that is paid for, for sure. Uh, Rex. My dad collects Hot Wheel cars, and he's in love with cars. Hey, it's a guy thing, man. You got to do it. Uh, Juliana says, I just started watching you. You have a great live stream and a great YouTube channel. I think you live in your YouTube channel. I think your live on your YouTube channel is the best. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Pernell Robertson, good morning uh, from Huama, Huama, Louisiana, 75 degrees. It is now 75 degrees here as well. Um, tech for fun. Pretty awesome. Your garage is high enough for a lift. Love it. Yeah, my garage is like, I don't even know, 14, 16, something like that feet tall. I mean, if you look up, here I am. And there's my garage. So, I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but it is, uh, it is pretty tall. Uh... 5782 Joe Rod. I have a 2018 TRD Sport, but now I want a 4x4. What do you think if I should? What do you think if I should stick to my TRD? Uh, TRD Sport, Sport, but now I want a 4x4. Do you need a 4x4? I mean, that's only a choice you can make. You know, Rex says, "Love your logo. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It is self-designed." Uh, Automan Dan says, Rob, the first video I saw is the 2016 Ram Rebel. Yeah, that was one of my more serious videos um, as far as creating things. My other ones were way before that were really dumb. I think I have them all hidden on the channel. They're just so stupid. Um, Mr. Fox says, must be nice. Cold in Pennsylvania. Yeah, it is nice. Uh, Mitchell Rutherford, Nova Scotia, Canada. What's the temperature there today? Uh, Michael Rutherford says, great channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Bean says, it's a horrible minus five over here. Ew, I remember those days. They suck. Juliana says, uh, where would you want to go on vacation? Um, I'm not a really a big vacation guy. So I live down here in the south where it's nice and warm, sunny out most of the time. I think I kind of live a vacation when it comes to weather and stuff like that. What's the car behind you? It is a 2023 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road. And it's a truck, it's, it's not really a car. Mr. Fox says, okay, maybe it's not so bad here. <laughs> there you go. All right, I've been on here for almost an hour, 58 minutes, had a lot of people come through. It's time for me to get off. I'm starving, I'm famished. I'm going to go eat some, some food. Just to recap real quick, I'm still in limbo when it comes to the 2024 Tacoma. Um, well, Rob, I'm going to bounce. I'll see you soon. Thanks, Dan. Uh, tee -hee -hee. Hey, man, how's your day been? I live in Antarctica. Oh, my God. How do you manage? BG says I'm subscribing to you on every phone I have. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe. If you've been on here, you've been watching this whole live stream, why wouldn't you subscribe? You obviously like it, right? Walter says take care, Rob. I will. Again, thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate you all. I'll see you again live. Should be on Wednesday, I think. And maybe I'll have some news by then. I don't know. Have a great rest of the weekend. Stay safe out there.